Good day everyone, it's Angela Ramora here. I am your favorite Australian and the real estate dingo bringing you another awesome vlog. And today I'm talking about this, how to buy a house with no money at all. Let's get it started. So guys, for those of you that have been following me for a while now, you will know that I do not like or believe in this creative BS type investing, buying houses without having any money of your own. I'm a big believer in going out, working hard, two jobs if you have to, saving fifty dollars to $100,000 in cold hard cash. Prove it to yourself before you start investing that you can do that and then start your real estate investment journey. But due to numerous requests from a lot of investors, I said, screw it, let me give you some of my advice on how you guys can go out into the market and potentially pick up one of these properties without actually having a single dime to your name, okay? So guys, look, pretty much um, how you can buy a property without having any money at all um, is this. You will have to uh, approach most likely a distressed seller that has had a property on the market for quite a while um, I think that Craigslist is going to be your best bet here. Um, you're also going to have to convince this particular individual that you are an expert at what you do um, and that you've done this many, many times before. So it's kind of a little bit cliche um, for all of you that are beginners out there. You know, I, I don't really like these kind of lies. Um, I've, always, I've always believed that honesty is the best policy, but ultimately, you know, uh, suit yourself, um, each their own, do whatever you feel is right. I personally wouldn't do it. Um, but once again, you're gonna have to approach a distressed seller who is having a hard time selling their property. Um, you're gonna have to approach them with a spiel. You're gonna have to speak with conviction that, you know, yes, indeed, um, uh, uh, you can uh, make this work for them um, and um, you can assist them with the sale of this property. So pretty much how it would work, guys, is you would um, most likely either enter into a joint venture agreement with this particular individual um, where you are indicating to them that, hey, um, uh, sign over the property to me. Um, I will get it fixed up um, and then I will either sell the property and we can split the profits um, or whatever the negotiated terms will be or they can even give you that property um, uh, via owner finance terms uh, where um, you don't put any money down whatsoever and you pay them out over the next five, seven, or 10 years. Now, when it comes to the rehab costs, I really don't know how you can go about that, guys. Uh, I mean, you're still gonna have to go and buy supplies from Home, Home Depot, Menards, and Lowe's. I don't know, maybe you can go there and ask for charity, like tell them, hey, I'm, can you please give me some of this material for free? Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't have a solution for you there. I, I mean, you're, you're, you're gonna have to you know, get some of your capital and buy some of these materials. Um, another uh, way of not spending much money on any um, labor costs is to do it all yourself. So uh, watch um, do it yourself um, videos on how to do certain things when it comes to renovating a property. I did it with my first five properties um, and it worked out pretty well. Um, I lost money on all of them, just as an FYI. <laughs> um, so nowadays I kind of hire professionals to do it. But look, that's one way of being able to buy a property with um, no money um, whatsoever, okay? Um, is you approach a distressed seller and the, you do a joint venture with them or they will sell the property to you on terms without putting any money down. Very hard pitch, very hard to do. It is possible though, okay? Another way, which has happened to me many, many, many times before. Um, uh, believe it or not, it actually has happened to me many times before. Uh, and the best bet of getting deals like this is going to be in um, the Midwest, um, in tertiary markets like Toledo. Um, uh, and it's probably gonna be in areas that aren't as desirable. Um, there's a lot of investors that are out of state, out of country, that have caught the real estate bug or the cash flow bug that the US real estate market offers, invested um, in these markets and then just completely lost their ass um, in these markets and now they just want out and they don't wanna deal with the city anymore, they don't wanna deal with mowing the lawn, they are burnt out, they are willing to write off the losses, whatever it is, so they'll pretty much give the house away to you. 
Um, it's happened to me around 10 times over the last five years where an investor um, has reached out to us um, uh, uh, knowing that we are a, a reputable and big company here in Toledo and they said, hey, I've got these properties. They're yours. Just take them off my hands. And believe it or not, guys, some of them were in such a bad condition that we didn't even uh, um, didn't even take them off the hands because it was more hassle than it was um, uh, 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 worth it. So there are deals out there in such instances um, where you can um, get these properties for free, or alternatively, you're going to have to sell someone on your capabilities um, to sell that property to you with no money down. I don't believe in this approach. Once again, I believe um, in putting your money where your mouth is, having cash before you start your investment journey. But anyway, that's my tip for you guys. That's how you can um, invest with um, not having any money at all. Um, what are your thoughts? I'd love to hear from you below. Um, but that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you so much for listening. I'm Angela Ramora. I'm your favorite Australian, and I'll catch you in the next vlog.